Hello, good afternoon, friends. Uh, this is Mr. Pilarsen. I'm from Manipur doing my research here. So today I'm going to have a conversation with our brother from Nigeria. So I will just ask him to introduce his name. Is uh, he is doing master in uh, chemistry department? PhD. You are in PhD. Yes. Not master, right? Mm -hmm. So he is doing PhD in the department of chemistry. Yes. So I will have a short time with him. So why don't you just introduce yourself? Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. I am. I know Lua Femi. So I'm from Africa, Nigeria. Nigeria is West, Western Africa. So Africa is divided into four parts. We have the West, the East, the South, and the North. So I'm from West Africa. And then my country is the biggest in Africa and the most populated in Africa. Okay, thank you for the short introduction. So now, um, firstly, I just want to know why why you choose India instead of so many other countries are there. Oh. Why you choose India? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, you see, it's always good to look for where technology is advancing, mm -hmm. and then um, when, when when you have to. You have an option of going to two places. Mm. One is developed, the other is developing fast. Mm. We have places developing slowly, we have places developing faster. But you know, like we Africans, we see India as a very fast developing nation. Right. And the opportunities are more available in, de in fast developing nations than nations that are yet to develop. So we African we see India as a better opportunity, a better place for us to study. And then um, coupled with the fact that um, living expenses is not as costly in India compared to places like UK and yeah, US. Exactly. So we appreciate, African appreciate coming to Asia, mm -hmm. especially India to study, because we still get the same benefit, the same opportunity. You are going to get in UK, in America, you get the same opportunity here, but the living expenses here is low. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So how long have you been here in India? Yes, I've been here for seven months. Seven months. Seven months. So I see I have like five months. I'm going to be here for one year. One year. One year. So that means uh, you are doing your actually you where did you register your PhD? Chemistry department. Okay. No, no, but in your Nigeria, uh, University of Lagos. Oh, you Nigeria of Lagos, you registered there. Yes, I've already so spent like two actually, years. who will if the Lagos University will uh, issue certificate? Yes, or condition. No, University of Lagos, Nigeria, mm. where I registered, will issue the certificate. Oh, but I'm here on a split site bench work. Okay, okay. But we call it collaborative research. Collaborate, collaborate. So for that yes. program. So we are going to have quality, uh, quality publications mm -hmm. that we call it joint research, mm -hmm. Asian African joint research. Oh, that's very interesting. And um, I think even before you joined here, there were a couple of people I interviewed them, like Julius and Fortune, but they were master students. Oh. Of course, PhD was there, but I was not able to meet So thank you for that information. Thank you. Well, uh, now, so now um, you, you are already here in India for seven months, right? Seven yes. months. Okay, so um, what do you like and dislike most of, uh, about India? Okay. Um, no, the pandemic has really eaten yeah. part of my time. Yes, I've yeah. lost about three months now. Yeah. But notwithstanding, mm -hmm. in the, the first four months before the, I, I was there before the pandemic problem came up, I observed that um, Indian people are friendly. Mm -hmm. 
for years, you know, in Africa, we watch Indian films a lot. Mm. So, and then when I came, I, you know, because I look different because of my hair and all that, so people easily notice me. And when I came, I trek from here to gates most times. But yeah, why, yeah, yeah. But why going? Know. Most times I see people, even people that I don't know, they just stop their um, vehicle mm -hmm. or their bike yes. and ask me to join them. Okay. So I have observed that uh, yeah. Indians are caring. Caring? They, oh, that's and, very good and thing. They, yeah. they take life easy. Mm. Unlike so, so many places in Africa, mm. they... People that, people that are better than you, they don't care about you. Okay, okay. But here, I think people in Asia are more caring. More caring. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's that's caring. a very good thing. But, you know, when we travel to different places, we are also, you know, face some damn difficulties also. Mm. Yeah, you have said so many good things about India. And hospitality, yes. caring, and all these things, right? But now, you must have, as an international student, yeah. you also must have uh, faced some difficulties which we don't know which Indian uh, university they may not be knowing. So, how would you address this kind of issue and what are those difficulties you face? Okay, well, first and foremost, you see, my professor that gave me the opportunity, I'm grateful to him. As professor Bachelor of Chemistry. Mm -hmm. So he makes sure that I have every basic needs. Mm -hmm. And he's always calling to out of how I'm doing. But the only challenge I have is food. When I first came, when I first came, you know, I I paid at the mess. I pay at the mess because 